Today I'll be showing you how to insert bullets and numbers. There are two methods of inserting bullets and numbers. The first method would be by typing in new text within a document, choosing the bullet, the style of the bullet, or choosing the number and the style of the number. The second method would be by using existing text within a document. Now in today's case we have existing text as illustrated in front of you. What we need to first do is the instruction we normally get in the examination or an activity is to separate the sentences. So what we do by default after each sentence there is a full stop. After the full stop there is a space. So we put our cursor in front of the first letter of the word of the new sentence, press enter, 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 last one is, press enter again. So automatically it goes to the new line and now we can see that the paragraph is split into different sentences. What I want to make known is that we always need to work with our ruler, especially when editing a paragraph or editing text or document. The grey shading you'd see is the margin. By default, it is 2,54 centimeters left, and by default, it is 2,54 centimeters right. So, in this case, I need to select the paragraph the sentences that needs to be bulleted or numbered under the home key we'd find our bullets and we'd find our numbers next to bullets there is a drop down arrow the drop down arrow means more options by clicking the drop down arrow you could see different styles of bullets that could be used I click on numbers the drop down arrow it gives us different styles as well for the numbers but in today's case I'll use the first one which is the number and the dot so I'll click on that and you can see the paragraph of the sentences are all numbered like I mentioned we need to use the ruler you can see the gray section over here it is the margin but we could also see that I can see it's 0 0.6 so to change the indentation, you can see paragraph, so under home tab, you can see paragraph, you can see the notch, you click on that. Uh, we can see the indentation over here, it is 0 0.63, hang indentation is 0 0.63. So what I'll do over here is I will change this to 0 and I'll click on OK. Automatically, you can see now it is flash against the margin. But if the instruction says indent the text after the number to one centimeter, where do I go to? You simply go to paragraph again. Indentation, this is by the margin, left margin, right margin. By special hanging, you can see the 0.63. Like I mentioned before, you could see it is 0 0.63. So I need to change this to 1 centimeter because the instruction says that it needs to be 1 centimeter from the number. Click on OK ruler and see that it is 1 centimeter from the number. I hope that has assisted you. Thank you.